So you could say, well, you know, they're aborting these kids by 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 sex. Or I've I've read articles where feminists have said we should uh, abort boy babies because we need less men in the world because they're the ones who start the wars and all that great stuff. Right? They're they're violent, you know, potential, you know, abusers. Let's just say, which is kind of silly to me. But let's talk about the inherent value because I don't think that a lot of guys really realize this. Now, again, I'm not going to speak for Kevin Samuels because I don't. I, I specifically I get what he's saying. Generally, is what I'm going to say is that generally speaking, um, men are disposable. Men are the ones who are expected to, for, you know, uh, really tribal or genetic altruism is really something, a kin affiliation and kin altruism is something that's usually expected of men. From an evolutionary perspective, um, women are the incubators of the next generation. And so therefore they have intrinsic value. Therefore we have what I've uh, called anyways, uh, the male protector dynamic, which is put yourself in front of harm's way uh, or into harm's way to protect women and to protect children. That's something that is instinctual, I think, to our human male brains, um, instinctively anyways. So so there's that aspect of it. The evolutionary aspect of inherent value of women is something I think that's kind of hardwired or baked into uh, the you know, intersexual experience of human beings. So there is that. Now, what I think, um, what I think Kevin Samuels was talking about and what the, my email guy was talking about here is that, um, women's value is, uh, as far as sexual market value is something that they conflate with their own personal value. However, the w women are valuable just for being women for most guys. So this girl right here, probably wouldn't have any trouble getting with a guy who is beta, who is l low on the SMV scale. Her frustration isn't so much about finding the right guy. It's the guys that are coming to her. The guys who are supposed to be picking her aren't the guys that she wants to be picking her. And in a gynocentric social order, what we do is we legislate. So we legislate laws, and, and whether it's harassment or it's you know uh, what day gamers on on the streets of the of London, uh, whatever it is, we're, or, or um, men being uh, held accountable for, um, let's just say unwant or like for lack of consent, sexual consent, if they say they are a lawyer or they are a surgeon or whatever. And it turns out that after they've had sex with a woman, that that woman or that that guy is actually a barista or a sandwich artist at Subway. There, we want to legislate against men being able to misrepresent themselves as something more than they are. That's why PUA, that's why game, that's why anything where guys get together and we compare notes, that's why that is threatening to a gynocentric female primary social order. Because if men can do that, what they can do is find an end run around that, that hypergamous filter. And that's exactly what she's talking about here. She's not frustrated so much with men, but she's frustrated with the, the fact that she can't get the kind of guy she needs to get right now. I, I'm at the finish line. I'm waiting for the winner. Where's the winner? This is the kind of woman who rather than making a bet in her 20s with a guy who had potential, she's the one who has sort of put guys off and, and has, has been um, like, I don't want to call her spinster because I don't know if she's a spinster, but she's the kind of woman who's like frustrated with her position in life right now because she wants to move on. She wants to have babies. She wants to have a, a guy in her life. She really wants that. But she's at a position right now where she thinks the winner is she's waiting at the finish line and none of the winners want her. None of the guys that are good enough want her. They want the girl who's 22 years old. They want the girl that she used to be back in her whole phase. And that's what throws women off. And that's where they kind of lose the narrative. Now, because women have this intrinsic inherent value, they think that it's men's fault for not seeing their one, their wonderfulness because of their her beauty she looks good you know their her her high quality i i'm i'm here i'm ready okay now i'm ready world and the world you know of men don't want to have anything to do with her so yeah when guys get to pursue who they want to she's upset with that because the guys her age or the guys who would be older than she is don't want to have anything to do with a woman who is where she is in life right now now, there might be guys who are or like simps or there might be guys who are blue pill or beta or whatever you want to call it, who are her age, but she doesn't want to get with those guys because when she does, she finds that she's wasting her time. 
those guys come into her life and oh hey they're players they're not players they just want to bang you or because you're an easy lay you're easy right there you're you're low-hanging fruit let's just say ladies don't be low-hanging fruit <laughs> so you got that or you've got you've got that the choice of that guy who is going to make you a plate because now at 36 years old that guy's hitting his stride because any guy who's still single at that time he's got it he's in a position of sexual selection that women were at when they were 22 23 years old and if you look in the uh let's see the preventive medicine if you look at the graph that i have where women's uh the bell curve for women's sexual market value and it tops out right around 23 years old for men it tops out right around 36 or 37 years old because that's when men tend to have the most uh of what makes them potentially the most attractive to women at that particular time in their lives so this woman is venting her frustration because she's at the finish line and she's waiting she's where it's aware of the winners well the winners are here at least the single ones are anyways but they don't want to have anything to do with her because now the ones the guys the high value guys don't have to select her they can select a younger woman or a woman who is is less sort of self-absorbed <laughs> and they are 100 percent right to do so because they're looking out for their own best interests and maybe if they want to have children themselves that's not what they're looking they have they have matured to the point where they have a better sense of uh, judgment of character of women and they have better sexual selection so what is it that makes you more desirable well yes it's going to take longer for you to figure that out women are case selected they're looking for quality when like i said the the alpha the apex alpha comes along women can't waste that opportunity well what she's saying is i want that apex alpha when i need it right now and if there's a societal push for anything it's convincing women that men have to do that they're entitled to those apex alpha men again alpha with, as an abstraction at that particular time in their lives all the chips are down i don't want to you know i don't want to screw around anymore i i need the winner to come across the finish line and marry me now and that it, it's all it's it's much too late and even for very good looking women even for women who have this you know have her look whatever she obviously she's doing this on TikTok. so so there you have it um that's my sort of breakdown um last but not least i wanted to make sure that you guys understand what i meant by inherent value when it comes to women and it comes to men uh, men must perform women just are when i say that what that is is what that means is women have inherent value until they don't until they get to until it's used up until it is not the agency producing value that it has been for a long time so a lot of guys particularly in the black pill community or the mig tail community or whatever want to say well women like a woman like her she can just spread her legs and she can have any girl any guy she wants yeah that is true but here we have an example of a woman who by by their by that definition could certainly do that but she's not she's venting her frustration on TikTok or on a one minute video because those guys she doesn't want those guys she doesn't want that attention she doesn't want those particular like she can have anybody but she doesn't want just anybody because women's mating strategies and women's sexual imperatives and their mating imperatives are different than men's so when you think like that you're thinking like a guy and you're projecting that that ideal onto women stop doing that women have a different motive they have a different purpose when it comes to their own mating strategies because eventually women's mating strategies become their life strategies so when a, a, a girl is at 33 years old her her priorities are different because the time is running out she's got to find that guy and that's that's a really dangerous place to be by the way gentlemen because if you are say 36 years old um, there are plenty of social conventions that are in place that have been around for a long time to convince you that it is your it is incumbent upon you if you want to be a real man quote unquote register trademark if you want to be a real man you have to wife these girls up save them from themselves save them from their choices save them from their conditions save them from the consequences that they incurred when they were in their 20s when they were out i'm not saying that she i, I don't know anything about her sexual past i don't know what her notch count is whatever but i do know this is that it's not about what society made her it's what her imperatives were and what society facilitated for her to get to the point where she is on TikTok and she is complaining about the quality of guys 
So this is not a this is not a general statement on do men have it easier? Do women have it easier? This entire video is I can't find the right guy. I can't find the quality guy that I deserve or that a female primary society assured me that I am entitled to and he's not here.